This conference will now be recorded. Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about how we can publish payloads into GMS. Either Q or to topic. In the last session we discussed how we can subscribe messages from either Q or topic. And today, let's see how we can publish message and top messages to queues and topics. Okay. For that, in the last session, I have shown you how we can install Active MQ and also how we can do the configurations. Let's start with that. So, first, go to Active MQ where you extracted that. And in that, just go to bin, bin 64, start active MQ batch file. It will start JMS server for us. Once it started, we can go to the console and see localhost x six. Once it deploys, Automatically, this will load the console page for us. It has deployed. Go to manage act to MQ broker. And by default, it will ask the login that is, username is admin and password is admin. And coming to the queues, yesterday we created one queue called queue.fsd.emp and we published some messages over here and subscribe to those. Today, we are going to publish messages through Muli ESP. To do that, what I am going to do, I am creating one more project as JMS operations. Finish. This conference will now be recorded. And the use case that I'm going to take is, I will develop a web service which expects JSON payload as an input and we publish that JSON payload into the JMS queue. And immediately we will try to subscribe that, fine. Now, to develop a REST service, go to HTTP and listener. and rename listener as emp add okay we are going to perform employee edge click on plus and coming to con connector configuration this should be http 8081 and the base path i can take as gms iphone operations okay and sub path I can take as add iPhone EMP. Save. I am done with REST service development. Just have a logger as start log to say that flow has started and to print the payload. Start log. Add employee flow started and we can print the pin save and next we can have jms because whatever the payload we are getting we wanted to publish into jms so for that go to the jms module drag and drop publish connector and here we need to do the configuration click on plus As we are working with active MQ, we choose the active MQ connection here. If you would like to work with any other MQ, go to generic connection. Refer means of documentation to get the generic connection details of any MQ. First of all, it was asking us to configure the jar file. Just use local file and browse. It will come automatically with your Apache active MQ when you download. Just select active MQ all. Open. Click on OK and scroll down. 
it was asking username and password that are by default admin and admin and we we also need to provide the factory configuration so click on drop down edit in line and here we have to give the broker url the broker url is like while developing http service we have kept a protocol like this site http slash slash localhost 8081 right but for coming to the jms the http is tcp protocol and i have the active m2 server in my localhost itself if not we have to provide the ip here and the default port let me check what is the default port it was running in the active m2 go to active m2 under that you have conf folder and click on active m2 file just click with edit with notepad plus plus scroll down and we can see where active m2 broker was running and what is the url see this is the url 0.0.0, .0 nothing but your local host either you can keep as a local host or you can keep as a zero dot anything would be fine click on okay for the safe side let me give as local host but 0.0.0.0 also will work no worries in that so this is the port it was running just click on okay we are done with connector configuration and now already we have one queue created here it's pretty simple to create a new queue just go here create a queue and click on create it will create a queue for you okay and yesterday we have created this queue and i am going to publish a message to that queue just copy the queue name and, and paste here by default the destination type is queue i am not going to show you how to publish a message into topic because that is not there is no much difference you just need to give the topic name instead of queue name here and you just need to select the topic that's it there is no much difference we are done with jms publish save and i can take this as publish emp payload always good practice to give proper names save and i can have one logger saying that message has published emp payload published which is a end log save it now i am going to running this in debugging mode debug This conference will now be recorded. Okay, it got deployed. Now go to Postman and I take in base path. Let's prepare the request through Postman. I have taken the base path as GMS operations. Now click on send i am sending this payload this will be published to the queue if you see here we do not have any pending queues or enqueued queues so far once i publish a message into this queue here we can see the number that confirms that the message has published successfully we also consume the same message so that we can confirm the right message has published to the right queue now go to postman click on send i am running in the debugging mode and i have kept toggle breakpoint so the process will come here and from here i will take forward
request came click on next and what is the json payload i got this is the payload i have just printed now click on next let's see now we have published that just go here and refresh now you see the pending message is one and the message enqueued is one that means our message has published just complete the execution so once we publish that in similar way we can read it back we can subscribe create one more flow new we will configuration file emp ipon subscribe flow finish so to subscribe a gms qr message we have to go to gms under that listener just drag and drop the listener and the connector configuration we have already created we can make use of that again that's it fine with this configuration and we are going to read actually you can see there is no much difference between these two like publishing and also subscribing right publish is a right set nothing but this is not a listener this is not acting as a trigger but this here if you see the listener is at source side this will act as a trigger even though if you try to drag and drop this this at source side it will not work see it was showing into this is not right place to keep this connector because we can't publish at trigger side we always publish at outbound side inbound side always we will have listeners okay for this listener and i am going to listen to the which queue the queue that i have created so whenever i publish a message into the queue that will automatically subscribe here for now we are doing in the same application but in the real time whenever you publish a message into queue that will be subscribed by the clients of that are who are listening to that queue okay and here also working with queue working with topic is very easy so here i can take queue consumer if you if i would like to work with topic consumer i can take the topic consumer and i can put the topic over here but whenever you are working with topic consumer make sure you will be changing the number of consumers to one okay and go back i am going to consume from the queue and i just wanted to print what is the message i am going to get because once you able to the you will to consume you can keep the database connector and you can make database insertion right so here i am just going to print the payload and we can see how the payload is coming okay save so it automatically redeployed This conference will now be recorded. This has deployed. Now, let me put a toggle breakpoint here also. I hope it is already running in the debugging mode. Just go and hit the service again. It request came first. It came to the service. From here, I am publishing that next 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 and immediately it will go to our ems subscribe flow because we are consuming that did i given q name correct here we have two pending messages those should be subscribed
This conference will now be recorded. I think this has not uh, redeployed properly. That is the reason it might not be able to consume. I mean, subscribe. Let's send the project back and we will see. This conference will now be recorded. See, this application has deployed. Now, automatically, the messages has subscribed. See, these are the messages I published. Those two are subscribed. What I will do, I will show you end to end execution one more time by running in the debugging mode. By mistake, I have rendered this application. Let me stop the server and let me debug the project back. What happened previously when I have developed this flow? And I have just kept for automatic deployment, uh, but what happened? That has not deployed properly. I am just debugging again back, and we can see end-to-end -end flow execution in a moment. This conference will now be recorded. The application has deployed. Now, just let me go to the postman and let me change this ID, some random value, and now click on send. So what is the expectation? It will go to our REST service and from here it will be published to the JMS and from there we will it will be subscribed by the EMP subscribe. So click on next, next, next. It has, pub, it has published to the queue. Okay. See, one and it automatically came back to the subscribe flow. Click on next. See the payload that I have sent is this and subscribed is this. This way in real time we publish messages into queue and that will be subscribed by the consumers. This way we can do integration using JMS. That's all for today. Thanks everyone.